Alright guys, today is Mother's Day and I'm going to show you how I made my Mother's Day card with my Cricut. Check it out, it's one of my favorite hobbies. So this is Cricut Access and you'll open it and then you'll open a new project. You'll search in images for what you want. I searched Mother's Day, changed the ownership to free because I don't pay for the Access membership. I didn't really find much that I liked in the Mother's Day category. So then I went and clicked cards because I knew I was making a card. Looked at all the different free cards that I could personalize for my mom. So I decided I liked this bear card. I clicked on the bear card and then it goes into your new project. It said happy Father's Day. So I ended up detaching that piece and changing it to happy Mother's Day. So I just deleted the happy Father's Day and clicked on text. And I wrote happy Mother's Day in the text category. And then I went in and found a font that I wanted to use. So you just click on fonts, click system. I've downloaded fonts from different websites because I don't pay for the Cricut access, like I said before. So you just can get fonts from um, different websites online for free. So I experimented with a couple different fonts and decided on this one. And I saved my project under Mother's Day card. Then I had to make the font that I chose into writing. So when the Cricut um, processes it, it will write with a pen instead of cutting out the Happy Mother's Day. If I would have left it how it was, it would have physically cut out the words Happy Mother's Day. Alrighty guys, I'm up here in my office. I have my card design ready to go. So now I'm gonna show you my Cricut and how it prints it out. This is my Cricut. I have the Cricut Maker. Let's open her up here. Looks like this. This connects to my MacBook here. And then um, I always keep her off. So I will turn her on. You just press that. The Cricut turns on. This is the standard mat that the paper will go on. Okay, so real quick, I just attached my um, writing and the card and for this card when we press make it show you how many different um paper types you'll need so i just need two different colors um or if i want to do the envelope a different color i can do three different colors i'm just going to do two different colors this is my paper box and i have all different colors and textures I actually really like this yellow. So I think I'm gonna do the yellow as my main color. So these are the two colors I'm picking. I picked my first color. I lined it up on my mat. Then you're gonna feed it into your Cricut. I fed the first mat in. This mat is ready to go and it tells you what tools you will need. So I just pressed continue and then you pick what the type is. So this is a medium cardstock and then you have to edit your tools. So I don't have the scoring stylus or wheel, so I use the stylus. So I just change it over to that and it'll tell you which one to put in first. This is my scoring stylus. I just put it in here and as soon as it finishes scoring, I'm gonna change it to my black marker. So we press the Cricut button and it will start. <laughs> Okay, so the process paused because it's telling me to put in my pen now. So just get that in there. And then we press this again. Okay, so my first mat is complete and we just need to unload it and then put on the new color for the next mat.
to unload we just press here my computer is saying unload the material and here it is you can see it all cut out so let's just take this off here's the little card part so we're just gonna peel this off that and that's our first piece okay so I just loaded my second mat my computer is ready to go I'm just gonna press Cricut for it to go okay so now my mat is done and this was the mat that had my envelope and the back of the card so I will put it together for you guys here to put it together I'm just using double-sided tape and tacky glue Okay, so I have taped it to the backing part and you can see the two little bears. And then it will slide right into this envelope that I made and close up and it will be all ready for my mat.